Hello, uh, my name is Peter Finn. I am the head of St Mary's University College in Belfast. My colleagues and I are delighted that you have joined our virtual Open Day event. Now, in the best case scenario, you would be joining an Open Day at our campus, talking to our students and members of staff about our study programmes, our student life at St Mary's, and indeed getting a feel for the place. Unfortunately, we are not yet at that point in the pandemic when it would be safe to have a face-to-face -face open day. We will do our very best, however, with this online medium. During autumn, thousands of young people and those who are not so young will make, make important decisions. They will decide on which university or college course they should apply for entry in September 2022. You will want to make good decisions. Normally, these are achieved by having access to the best possible information, the type of information which properly informs your choices. So, the purpose of our virtual open event is to provide you with information on what St Mary's can offer. In the first part of the event, we will focus on initial teacher education, that is, becoming a primary or post-primary school teacher. The relevant degree programme is the Bachelor of Education, or what we call the B.Ed. You will hear from a number of speakers about the B.Ed. Dr Martin Hagen is the director of the degree programme. Dr Claire Connolly organises the school placements for students. And then our Student Union President and Vice President, Cloda and Connor, both of whom are recent graduates of the college, will talk to you about student life. The B.Ed part of the event will conclude with a video entitled why teaching? So let's start with some information from Dr. Martin Hagen. Hello, everyone. I'm delighted to have the opportunity to talk to you about the BA program we offer here at St Mary's University College. To begin, I'll mention the structure of the program. The program has four different elements. The first of these is called education studies, and education studies addresses the foundational knowledge and understanding that teachers require to work effectively in classrooms and schools. It addresses questions such as how do children think and how do children learn, and more importantly what happens when children have challenges or difficulties in their learning in school. Secondly, we look at curriculum studies, and curriculum studies is if you will, the nuts and bolts of what teachers do on a day-to-day -day basis in their classrooms. It looks at how we can effectively teach the different curriculum areas, both at primary and post-primary level. Thirdly, we have subject studies. So students on the post-primary programme will engage in subject studies related to the subject that they will teach when they go into schools. There is also a subsidiary subject which, which post-primary students take as well. For primary students, they too take subject studies uh, in an area of their own particular interest. And this provides for the development of leadership capacity in these curriculum areas following graduation. Finally, we have perhaps what is the most important element of the programme, which is the PDSE modules or Professional Development and School Experience modules. These mod modules are at the core of the whole programme and in them students bring together their knowledge and, not, and understanding and learning from each of the different strands that they have studied. Professional development and school experience takes place both partly in college with the taught element and then secondly on placement in school. And the school placement is a very important aspect of the programme which my colleague Dr Claire Connolly will speak to you about shortly. Now that we've looked at the structure of the programme, I'd like to say a little word about the value of the B.Ed programme. In the first instance, you will graduate from St Mary's with a B.Ed Honours degree from Queen's University Belfast. Queen's is what we call a Russell Group University. And the Russell Group is a mem um, has a membership of 24 different prestigious universities across the UK. So the qualification that comes from Queen's is highly sought after. Secondly, you will graduate as a qualified teacher, recognised by the General Teaching Council for Northern Ireland and by the Department of Education for Northern Ireland. 
This qualification allows you to teach in any school here, but also qualifies you to teach in schools abroad. Again, it is a highly sought after and desirable qualification to have. Thirdly, then, we have what we call the St Mary's brand. And graduates of the college, we like to feel, are people who are totally committed, totally dedicated to the work that they do. Supporting children in schools, supporting their families and supporting their communities. The St Mary's brand of teacher is one who enjoys their work and who is fully committed to doing it to the best of their, their ability. Finally, I'd like to address the issue of employment prospects. And there is a lot of talk in the media and so on about employment prospects for teachers here in Northern Ireland. In our experience, what we find is that the vast majority of our graduates find themselves in employment in schools very shortly after graduation. In some cases, this is full-time permanent employment. In other cases, it is part-time employment, uh, maybe moving between two or three different schools on a regular basis, building up your competence and experience as a teacher. We also have a number of graduates who decide that they want to go away for a while and work elsewhere. So we have students, former students who are working in England and Scotland. We have students who are working in the Far East and students who are working in the Middle East. And again, this is all good for your experience and your professional development and learning as a teacher. So all in all, we feel that the BEd programme is a high quality one, one which is very desirable and one which great, provides great benefits to you as prospective students, but also, more importantly, to children in schools and to our society in general. So I'm now going to hand over to my colleague, Dr. Claire Connolly, and she will discuss the school experience dimension of the BEd programmes. Thank you very much for your attention. It's lovely to have you all here and I'm so pleased you've taken time to find out about the BEd and Liberal Arts courses offered by St Mary's. I'm going to be speaking specifically about school experience, which is at the very heart of the BEd or the Bachelor of Education programme. Martin Hagen will have explained to you that there are six modules in every year of the course and I certainly believe that the school experience module each year is the most important part of that course and I think that students would agree with me. You will do a placement every year of your four year course. Normally, in the first term, students will spend a few days in school. First of all, getting to think about how schools work. Now, I know you've spent the last 14 years in school, but the days in the first term, we get students to look at the schools from the teacher's perspective. Now, it's very different from studying for A-levels, and you're going to start to look at schools through the eyes of the teacher and think about the children and the pupils sitting in front of you and how they learn. So you'll spend a number of days in school in the first semester getting used to the environment as a teacher and we hope that this will be a chance for you to meet and get to know the children and the teacher that you will be working with in your block placement in the second term. So in the second term you will do seven weeks in your first year and that will go up to ten weeks in your final year. In the first year that's the year you'll be coming into. You'll spend seven weeks in school and primary students will be placed in foundation and key stage one classes, working with children between primary one up to primary four. For students who opt to take the post-primary course, we will place you in primary schools in the first year, as we think that it's really important that you get experience of managing children, of understanding how to communicate with them and engaging them with discussion. So those post-primary students will go to key stage two classes. Now, as I've said, this is very different from studying from A levels. And when you come to St Mary's, you will spend a lot of time in the first term, not only doing academic studies, but also taking classes that will prepare you for teaching and in classrooms. When you go into schools, you will have such a range of experiences and no two schools or classrooms are the same. What does work really well is that we have excellent relationships with schools and the teachers that you as students will work with are hugely supportive and ready to help you. They too were, just like you will be, students and remember the feeling of facing class and not being sure where to begin. 
I asked some of our students who did placements in schools last year to share their thoughts about school experience and I'm going to tell you about some of the things they said. First of all, it's incredibly hard work, very different from you sitting studying in the evenings now. They said by the end of the day they were exhausted standing and interacting with the children. They talked about the importance of extracurricular skills and how useful those can be. Sport, music, PE, drama, those things are going to be so valuable both in the classroom and to the wider school life. They talked about how children are great fun but don't try and be their best friend. One student told me that her advice was to work hard and when things don't go the way you thought they would, that's okay because you're learning how to become a teacher and you quickly realise that we learn as much from our mistakes rather than getting things right all the time. Another student said the children really made her laugh and things when things got difficult that you had to remember that the child that you are working with, you're making a difference to their lives. So teaching is a very valuable career. While it's not easy, it is a hugely rewarding job. I'm now going to introduce you to a video that contains past and present students talking about why they chose a career in teaching. Hello, my name is Erin Adams and I am a Year 3 student at St Mary's University College Belfast. I am studying the Bachelors of Education with History. I decided to become a teacher because I have a passion for history and working with young people. Coming to St Mary's was the best decision I made and I knew it was the university for me because it had the subject I wished to teach and everything I was looking for. My advice to any year 14 looking to come to St Mary's is if you think that this course is for you, take the leap of faith. It was the best decision I've ever made and it keeps on to grow every single year and I hope this is the best decision for you as well. Hi, my name is Sean Paul Gibson. Uh, I'm currently teaching in St Patrick's Grammar School in Down Patrick. Uh, I graduated in 2017 from St Mary's University College, uh, studying post-primary technology and design. The um, thing I, that got me into teaching um, would have to be the teachers who taught me at school. Uh, they were uh, influential in my life and um, were a uh, great inspiration to me, so that is one of the main reasons why I got into teaching. Uh, another reason would be um, GA and coaching. Uh, involved in coaching children and such a, re a rewarding experience. So um, you know, being able to experience that day to day in my job is is excellent. Uh, the thing I love most about teaching would have to be that no two days are the same, um, and seeing kids progress and learn and uh, learn new things is is a fantastic experience. Hello, my name is Annie Ryan, and I graduated from St Mary's University College in 2021 after completing the BA Primary with Music program. I've wanted to be a primary school teacher since I was inspired by my own primary one teacher in my first year of school. St Mary's helped me to achieve this dream. I am now teaching a lovely primary two class in Kilku, County Down. Being a foundation stage teacher, I am loving providing exciting and engaging play-based and practical lessons for my children. There's such a positive energy working in a classroom environment and I'm loving every minute of it. Hi everyone, my name is Caelan Dillon and I'm a recent graduate of St Mary's College Belfast. I graduated in the summer of 2020 having studied B.Ed primary teaching with a specialisation in science and now I'm working as a science teacher in Our Lady and St Patrick's College, Knock. Having graduated from the college, I wasn't quite ready to leave, so I ran the student elections and was fortunate enough to get elected as vice president, a role which my esteemed colleague Connor Stinton now occupies. Having been asked what is the main reason that I like teaching, and I have to say it's the rewarding nature of the job. There are very few, probably no professions in this world that give you such a rewarding feeling, and there's none that allow you to have a positive impact on a kid's life as much as teaching does. Therefore, if anyone is considering teaching, I would highly recommend that it's a career path you should go down. Thank you very much. Dear Dave, my name is Cloda and I recently graduated from St Mary's University College with a degree in primary teaching with Irish as my specialist subject. I spent four years studying in St Mary's and some of the things I loved the most about the college were the small classes where I was comfortable to speak to my lecturers and ask questions. The staff in St Mary's are always so helpful and they always want to see you succeed. As well as that, I made lots of friends in St Mary's, most of whom I still chat to every day. 
I joined lots of different clubs and societies while I was at St Mary's, like Uncommon Gaelic, the Irish Language Society, the Performing Arts Society and the Liturgy Group. Uncommon Gaelic organises events completely through Irish and the Performing Arts Society puts on a musical every year in the college. In St Mary's you're also given the chance to study abroad for a semester, so I chose to study in Spain, which I really enjoyed. I loved my four years of study in St Mary's so much that I decided to stay for one more year and run for the president of the Students' Union. Our Vice President Connor Stinton and I now work in St Mary's and our role is to make your experience as a student better in every way. Some parts of my role include giving students advice. We help students with accommodation, financial issues, deadlines and workload. We also plan nights out and help to organise activities for our clubs and societies. We're basically here to help you thrive during your time at St Mary's. I'll now pass you on to our VP Connor to explain a little bit more about why you should come to St Mary's. Hey guys, my name is Connor Stinton and I'm currently the Vice President of St Mary's Students' Union. I have recently graduated St Mary's with a Bachelor of Education specialising in Physical Education. One of my favourite things about St Mary's is the fact that all the lecturers in the college want to see you do well. They are here for you to make sure you do your absolute best. They are all very approachable and want to see all students succeed. If you have any issues at all, do not be afraid to ask them for help, whether that be via email or in person. My role as Vice President is to ensure that students enjoy their time in the college. A great way to do this is to get involved with as many clubs and societies as possible. Clubs and societies are a great way to meet new people, especially those students who might not be in your class. There is a wide range of clubs and societies in the college, whether that be the Performing Arts Society, Traditional Music Society, Gaelic Society, Hurlan, and much, much more. Throughout my time in St Mary's, I made sure to get involved with as many clubs and societies as possible. I made some lifelong friends and memories that I always cherish. I was involved with two All-Ireland winning Hurlan teams, and I also got to a circus and final with the Gaelic football team. My time in St Mary's was incredible, and I know yours will be too. Welcome back. I hope you found the information on the B.Ed. or Initial Teacher Education degree programmes to be helpful. Now let's consider our B.A. degree in Liberal Arts. This degree programme has been running at St Mary's for over 20 years and we have thousands of successful graduates, including indeed my own son Darren, who is now studying business in the United States of America. There are three key components to the degree programme. Firstly, what we call human development studies. Secondly, international studies. And thirdly, a mainstream subject of your choice, which makes up half of the 18 modules involved in the degree. Transferable skills are the core of this degree programme, which has a focus on the world of work. Now, liberal arts degrees are particularly popular in the United States of America, where the majority of graduates go on to undertake postgraduate studies in a specific professional or vocational area. This applies in our case as well, where many liberal arts graduates from the college take a PGCE programme leading to a career of teaching. Others take up careers in business, accounting, journalism, law and other areas of work. So the liberal arts degree is a broadly based three-year programme often leading to a one-year specific training programme as the entry point to good employment opportunities. Three of my colleagues will talk to you during this part of the event. Dr Jared McCann is a senior lecturer in international studies and is also involved heavily with our study abroad programmes. Dr Tracy McKay is a senior lecturer in skills development and Ms Deidre Cree is the Head of Support Guidance and Services here at the College. In between there will be a video entitled Why Liberal Arts? So let's hear first from Dr Gerard McCann. I'm Dr Gerard McCann and I am a Senior Lecturer in International Studies and Head of International Programmes at St Mary's University College. I work on the Liberal Arts Programme and I take a number of courses to do with the economy, international development and various other aspects of internationalisation. With universities today, internationalisation has become um, essential for the development of degree programmes. 
Global influences and opportunities are there, and the liberal arts program at St Mary's University College has been designed to maximise your potential as a graduate um, coming through to a different economic and indeed global environment. St Mary's University College has two aspects in regards to internationalisation and with respect to the liberal arts programme. The first is in terms of academic learning and this comes through our study of economic, political and cultural elements. The second is in relation to the um, mobility programmes that we have through the international office and this includes opportunities to go on the touring programme um, which includes university partners on the continent and indeed in the USA. We have the Erasmus programme still operating which is primarily on the continent and also we have other programmes such as Study USA, Study India, Study China and the SEDEM programme that brings students to the Eastern European countries. Careers linked to international elements of the degree programme will include the likes of public service, banking, finance, media, business and of course education of which a lot of our students go into and indeed work in an international context. Finally, just a note about internationalisation and its importance in the university sector. The expanding potential through knowledge is driven by our interconnectivity and our links with our partners and indeed businesses globally and it is central to this degree program. Thank you and I will hand over to my colleague Dr Tracy McKay. Thank you Jared, for your warm introduction. I'm delighted to speak with you about one aspect of the liberal arts degree program and that's the importance attached to developing verbal and written communication skills. These skills are highly valued by employers who want to employ graduates with proficient written and spoken communication skills. While these skills are clearly important for future employability, they are also skills that you can apply from year one of your studies in the liberal arts programme. So what do we do in these communication skills classes? If you come to St Mary's, what can you expect in the year one communication skills course? In oral communication skills, we explore the key elements that contribute to successful verbal communication. We look at our voices and how we use them. We look at the non-verbal aspects of communication, including the power of body language when we communicate. We look at how we use language in a range of settings. We explore vocabulary and we look at how we might become more confident and purposeful with our use of language in our spoken communication. We reflect on what it means to speak powerfully and purposefully and as listening skills are vital to communication so we spend some time on developing these skills too. With regards the written communication skills classes my colleagues run seminars to help you become more confident with your writing abilities and help you to develop your writing style. They seek to do that by modelling best practice in writing and by sharing examples of good writing. In small interactive sessions they give you opportunities to engage in writing tasks and are on hand to provide feedback to help you become a better writer. The written skills course is a very topical one so as well as developing your skills in written communication, you will be engaging with contemporary issues impacting the world around us. All communication skills classes in St Mary's are interactive and collaborative in nature. Tutors make use of seminars, workshops and there's a strong collegiate emphasis on learning together. Written and oral communication skills classes take place on a Wednesday just before lunch and before students head off for their afternoon sports and club activities. This means students are usually in a very good mood, which adds to a sense of fun and enjoyment while learning in communication skills session. 
In my experience, the atmosphere and ethos that underpins communication skills classes helps students to feel relaxed, happy, confident to have a goal, and as a result, they are usually a lot of fun. Now, I hear you ask, how do I know that students really enjoy them and get a lot from attending these sessions? Well, the evidence suggests students perform well in their course assessments, and as a tutor in the course, I can see the students put their heart and soul into their work, that they feel empowered to give their best efforts. Year on year, student feedback on communication skills affirms the value they perceive in these classes. Also, when I bump into graduates from the liberal arts programme, in many cases, years after they have left the college, sometimes in a professional workplace setting, or sometimes just out and about in the rounds of daily life, we have those do you remember moments where happy memories of their time in the college and in the communication skills classes are shared. Communication skills classes are intended to assist you to develop your verbal and written skills and to help you reach your full potential. Sometimes that means nudging you out of your comfort zone, encouraging and supporting you to take on new challenges, embrace new opportunities to develop your talents and abilities and skills. By joining in this event, it's clear that you are researching all your options for studying at third level, and I'm delighted to see that you are seriously considering the liberal arts degree at St Mary's. The communication skills classes in St Mary's are where theory and practice come alive, where you work with tutors who get to know you as an individual and who are focused on helping you to develop your full potential. These are very important considerations for you right now as you think about and try to weigh up the third level setting that's the best fit for you as a person and the place that will help you to develop the skills and competencies needed for professional life post-graduation. If you're looking for a place where you're known to your tutors, where they really care and are invested in your academic development, where you feel supported as you develop and apply skills, and where your learning is at the core of what we do, then the LA degree at St Mary's could be the place for you. With that in mind, it's important to seek sound advice from those people who have your best interest to the fore, your teachers in school, your family and friends who want what's best for you. It's also an opportune moment to listen to the experiences of some past and present students talking about why they chose the liberal arts degree at St Mary's. I hope you enjoy their reflections on what St Mary's has to offer and if you decide that St Mary's is the place for you, I look forward to welcoming you to the communication skills classes in September 2022. Hello, my name is Ali McGee and I am a third year student here in St Mary's and I am studying the Liberal Arts programme um, with Religious Studies. I chose this course as it opens so many doors and so many opportunities. Um, if you want to do teaching, you can do. Uh, so with my module, I'm studying Religious Studies and I want to go on and do primary teaching, so I'm going to go down the route of PDCE. My advice to you as a seventh year student or anyone going for the Liberal Arts Programme is to just go for it. Take the opportunity with both hands. It opens so many doors for you whenever you graduate and you have so many opportunities here in the college to progress. Gia Dave, my name is Neve, and I'm a third year student studying Liberal Arts with Irish. The main reason I chose the Liberal Arts Programme was because of just how broad the degree, the degree course was. There is such a wide range of modules offered. I particularly enjoy my main subject Irish, which is a great passion of mine. I love the way my main subject links with international modules such as culture, diversity, identity and the economy. I find that the placement opportunity gave me a great insight into the types of careers I could pursue um, after my liberal arts degree. 
I would advise any Year 14 student or Leaving Cert student thinking of the Liberal Arts degree to go for it. I wasn't sure what career I wanted to pursue and the LA degree here um, is helping me to discover my strengths and offers me a great variety of careers when I graduate. Hi, I'm Amy Donnelly and I'm a third year student at St Mary's studying Liberal Arts with Religious Studies. I chose Liberal Arts because it's such a diverse degree and it gives me a lot of options whenever I graduate. My advice for students watching is that come to St Mary's, it is such a welcoming environment, Liberal Arts is such a great degree and you're going to love it here. Hi, I'm Talitha and I'm currently a third year in St Mary's studying Liberal Arts with English. I chose the Liberal Arts degree because I didn't know what career I wanted to go into after school. I took a year out before I applied to university and this gave me time to research more courses. Some of my friends went to St Mary's the year before me and they introduced me to the Liberal Arts degree. The course is so broad and there's such a range of interesting topics. It's a great degree which can lead you into so many different career paths after graduation. I love being part of the community here in the college. There are so many clubs and societies to join. In my first year I was part of the musical Mamma Mia and I loved it so much because it allowed me to meet so many new people. My advice to students out there considering the liberal arts degree at St Mary's is to quiz the current student with some questions you might have. That's what I did and it's the best way to find out more about the course and what your life is really like. Hi, my name is Cathy Hart and I am a third year liberal arts student studying religious studies. I chose the liberal arts degree because I felt it offered a more scenic route into teaching as after finishing my A-levels I wasn't entirely sure which route I wanted to go down and so the liberal arts degree kept all my options open. My advice to students is to go and do it. You'll love every minute of it and it'll be over before you know it. My name is Gary Dunlap. I graduated from St Mary's in 2017 with a liberal arts degree focusing on history and at the minute I'm currently the market manager for Glendalock Distillery here in Ireland both north and south and I also manage the European countries of the Netherlands and Italy. I started off my career with Glendalock in the United States working in Washington DC for a year and then I came back here and that's where I got promoted to the position where I am now. The reason I started studying liberal arts in St Mary's was because I wasn't too sure on what avenue I wanted to go down after finishing university. I wasn't too sure if I wanted to do a PGCE or a masters or just get a graduate job. So the liberal arts degree gives you an array of options um, for finishing university. During my final year in St Mary's, I was able to go on work placement with Hughes Craft Distillery. And it was from this work placement, I was able to get the knowledge, the experience and the taste for what I wanted to do after university. And it was with this work placement that I got my current job and the career that I'm in now. So it's all thanks to the liberal arts degree. Hey everybody, um, my name is Leanne Montgomery. I am a past pupil of St Mary's University College. I studied liberal arts with business and I graduated in 2012. I chose liberal arts with business. I had completed one year at Queen's University studying computing IT and I decided that wasn't for me. I didn't want to do pure play ICT. I wanted to do something that would make me more conscientious, aware of the world around me and generally a more well-rounded person. To me, liberal arts ticked all those boxes because I also had a passion for business studies. So combining the politics, European studies and business studies, I felt like, I felt like it just became the best combination of those three areas. I also wanted a career that was hopefully global. I wanted to travel a wee bit. I wanted to see the world. And that's what the degree led me to, thankfully. Additionally, for me, for me and what I would say to future students is that work experience is extremely important. It is what prepares you for the world around you after university. It helps you understand what you want to do and what you don't want to do. St Mary's, in particular liberal arts course, gives you two opportunities to go into work experience. On one of my placements, I spent six weeks with an IT company in Titanic Water. I learned so much. You also complete a project while you're out in the, the work environment. And, and, and this helps you no end. It really makes you think about certain areas of business and it shapes your thoughts and what you want to, to do after you graduate. My work experience was so good that before I graduated from St Mary's, I had a graduate role waiting for me. 
St Mary's has a great intake of international students each year. Additionally, you have the opportunity to apply and study abroad. I was so fortunate. That year, I got sent to Cyprus with five other amazing women from Liberal Arts course. It's a time of my life I will never forget and it put me in excellent stead for the future ahead. So at, at St Mary's, not only do you have a great degree with Liberal Arts, but there's so many other elements to that degree and that college that you, that you can unlock. If you're up for the challenge and you want to do well, go for it. It's fantastic. And, you know, since graduating, I have put all those elements of my degree to good use. I'm now an e-commerce consultant, so I advise global businesses on how and what and when to do things when it comes to selling online. And as you know, everyone's buying and selling online at the minute. It is absolutely booming. When we went into lockdown last year, who did they want? E-commerce experts. I am so fortunate. I've also got the opportunity to travel. And without, without all the little bits of knowledge and tools that I learnt within my liberal arts degree, I don't think I'd be where I am. I learnt about uh, European regulation, European uh, law, behaviours, trends, different types of culture. I also had very good business acumen for my business study section. And then I had an idea and understand of political life. Fantastic. Um, I have to say, St Mary's absolutely opened doors for me. I did work hard, but everything was there that I needed. And liberal arts just ticked so many boxes. So without my degree, I don't think I'd have started on this journey. At the minute, I worked with Queen's University. I volunteer, I have been president of Queen's Women Graduate Association and I'm part of a European and global network of women that lobby for um, female education. And I just love it. And I don't think I'd have any of those interests without this degree, because I was about to do pure play ICT. What a difference. So all I can say is if you're thinking about it, you're here in this virtual day and you're not sure, ask the questions and go for it. It's a fantastic degree, honestly. You won't regret it. All the best, everybody, and thank you so much for listening. Good luck. Hello, everyone. My name is Deirdre Cree, and I manage student guidance and support in the college. I am delighted to have this opportunity to talk to you about the services that are available in the student support department. Student support is at the heart of everything that happens in the college, and support is available at every level. Students receive support on a daily basis from their various tutors and from staff in the offices, the writing centre, the library and in the workshops. But sometimes that isn't enough because life's events can threaten to derail students. There may be a period of stress in your life, there may be personal or family illness, you may be coping with a disability or a challenge, or it could simply be that everything has become too much and you feel overwhelmed. And this is where the Student Support Department and the staff play a role. We offer additional levels of support within the department, regardless of whether the issue is of an academic or personal nature. In St Mary's, you will have a student number, but you are much more than that number. Our approach is person-centred and students are dealt with on an individual basis. So what exactly is available? We operate an open door policy, which means that there is always someone here to talk to who can offer you assistance, signpost you to appropriate sources of support, or simply just listen if that is what you need. We have a designated college counsellor who is on campus for a number of hours, three days per week. Access to the counsellor is immediate, we never allow a queue for counselling to form, and we don't limit access to the counsellor in terms of the number of sessions that an individual is allowed. This service has been a huge help to students over the past number of years and I am sure it will be to many of you in the future. We also have a programme of support tutors who can help you if you experience difficulties at any stage of your time here. Intervention is immediate once need is identified and 100% tailored to you as an individual. Disabled students are also very welcome in St Mary's and meeting their needs is a very significant part of what we do in the student support department. Whether your additional needs arise from dyslexia, mobility issues, illness or learning difficulty, you will find highly appropriate support here. So in summary, if you make the decision to attend St Mary's next year, you will be joining a college with a real sense of community, a college where students are at the very core, 
where you will be looked after and cared for. If you need us, we'll be here and we'll be here when you need us. I hope to see you in September 2022. So a big thanks to everyone for joining us on our virtual Open Day event 2021. A lot of information has passed your way. I hope it helps you to decide if you'd like to apply for the B.Ed. or the Liberal Arts degree, or indeed both. Applications come directly to the College and not via UCAS. Now please follow us on our social media platforms and our website as further information about follow-up events, including a live Q&A session with subject lecturers, will be posted soon. Finally, stay with us for just a few more minutes to watch a video entitled Class of 2021.